I decided, as I'm enjoying making videos now, I'm going to talk about my own desktop PC. Now this one is partially built by me, I wouldn't say fully built, partially built. I originally, ori I'll get my words out, originally purchased it on eBay two years ago, something like that, as a refurbished Windows 7 PC. And it had a dual core processor in it, Intel processor, and 4 gigabytes DDR2 RAM, which at the time was perfect for the sort of things I did. Anyway, fast forward about a year, and my mum's neighbour, Biggles, that's not his real name, that's his nickname. I won't use his real name on video. Biggles ob obtained an old scrap desktop PC that I noticed sitting outside his caravan. He's the one I get a lot of my bike parts off of as well, and bike frames to play with, and that's what he does. And people will give him scrap, and it usually ends up on the scrap pile. So I rescued that from the scrap heap. Because that's all that was going was going to happen to it. It was going to get scrapped. And I noticed when I got it home, it had a 750 watt power supply in it, four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and a quad core AMD processor. So I thought, wow, that'd be great if that all worked. So I powered, connected a monitor up, powered it up and it booted out to monitor fine. So I literally took all the motherboard out as it was, put it into this one, and swapped the power supply. I thought I might as well. I had a 500 watt power supply in this one, but I thought while I was at it, I might as well swap them over. So I've now got a decent enough PC for the things I do. It's not the fastest machine on the planet, but it is perfect for what I do. I can't remember what the graphics card is I put in it, but me and a friend of mine, a rather a um, more computer computer savvy friend of mine, helped me fit it and set it up. I know it's an Nvidia, Nvidia 9000 series, I believe. Anyway, that's the story of my desktop PC that I use. I suppose you're going to wonder what I did with all the old parts from it. Well, if we go into the bedroom and ignore the mess on the floor, I have all those PCs up there. Now, <laughs> this one I refurbished and put it on Windows 2000, which it was on originally. I've got that as a non-working machine and I got given that one. Same as that one that had no hard drive or actually yeah, it had no hard drive in it. That's now on Windows 7 and it's a Dell Dimension Oh I can't quite see it. Dell Dimension something or other. Maybe if I pick you close so you can read it. I don't know how clear that is coming up on the camera. And we've got this one which was my old Windows XP PC, which I was using before I bought the Windows 7 machine. And it's got 2 gigabytes DDR RAM in it, and a 3 gigahertz P4 processor, so it's not a bad machine. And then we've got my brother's, which is a work in progress. This one doesn't work. It needs, apart from a blank plate on the front there, which I might just stick a dummy, or a non-working, I should say, CD drive in there just to fill the gap. This will be a Windows 7 machine, although it might end up on Windows 8. Depends what he wants to do. The cage is all loose on the front. I'll take it off before it falls off on the head. And then that's my old... Well, the, yeah, that's the case I got from Biggles with my old equipment in it. And that's on Windows 7. This one on the end. 
hand hiding under the bed is a Windows XP machine under there. A few upgrades on it. I'll just build that one out of boredom. And there's my little compact netbook. Slow as anything. When I'm just chilling out in bed at night, watching the TV, and that's perfect just to chat to friends on Facebook and on Yahoo. And I've got this one upside down here. <laughs> Hello, Nemo. It's an HP. I got this one given to me. And the only fault on it, apart from the four missing keys, is that the charger port was completely broken. So I bought a new charger port on eBay, which cost me £1.75. I got my stepdad to fit it, because he's better at soldering than I am. So I now have a working HP laptop. It does need a memory upgrade. It's only got a gigabyte DDR2. I can't remember what the processor speed is. It's got an Intel Celeron M on it. A Windows Vista Basic sticker, but that's not what it's running. It's been upgraded to Windows 7. I wish I had it before me upgraded it to that. There's no sound out of the speaker. I assume that little grid there is the speaker. But there is sound working on it, because I do get sound through a set of headphones. So I assume the speaker's probably broken, or I didn't maybe didn't connect it when I reassembled the laptop. Having said that, the sound didn't work before I took it apart, because I did manage to boot it up briefly with a bro <laughs> broken charger port before the charger port failed completely. <coughs> and what's wrong with my voice today? <coughs> And yes, in case you're wondering, I do make more than one video a day, but I don't put all the videos up on the same day. I try to get one up, at least one video up each day. So one video per day. That's the quietest my cat ever is when he's asleep. Nemo! No, he's sound asleep. He doesn't want to know. So, I suppose I should sh could show you these as well while I've got the camera on. In my cupboard or my computer spares. Spare mouse. Box full of spare bits and pieces. Spare motherboard for the Dell up there. The Dell Dimension. So I've got two of them. I broke one for spares deliberately. Spare IDE hard drives, spare laptop hard drives, various spare RAM. I need to go through them processors because I shouldn't think many of them are any good now. In fact, I can see some with some bent pins from here. It's my fault for poorly storing them. Never mind. Plenty more on eBay if I ever need any. Spare in that box there, there's spare video cards, spare all sorts. I've got another box I can't get to in the outside cupboard full of spare cables and spare heat sinks and stuff. That doesn't matter because I don't really go into that box that often anyway, I don't need to. Anyway, as you can see, one of my hobbies is playing with computers. I'm not an expert. I just mostly know how to take one apart, put it back together and install an operating system on it and carry out the normal repairs, if you like. Well, I'd never class myself as an expert. I did have a Windows 98 desktop, but I decided to sell that, and I wish I didn't then. Never mind. I'm sure I'll find another one one day, or I could build one. Some of my favourite car collection. 
Just being random on the video now. It's gone from computers to die cast cars. Those are my favourites, them lorries. And now you know my real full name. Or real first name. I'm not telling you the last name now. If you watch them, you can work it out for yourself. <laughs> okay. Mustangs. Love the Mustangs. Anyway, I've rambled on for ten minutes now, so I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.